What's up? Dr. Swole here, MD, pro physique athlete. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a full five-day hypertrophy program based on the upper lower split designed for women. Ladies, this one's for you. And for all the guys out there, share this program with your girlfriends and your female friends. It'll put you in the good books. Particularly, I wrote this program with the idea of glute specialization in mind. This is a moderate volume program set for five days per week designed for an intermediate and beyond. The upper lower split fits particularly well in this five-day setup. The upper lower split divides your body up into halves, into your upper body muscles and your lower body muscles. And you'll see that we take advantage of the split setup to really maximize our lower body training. We'll start off with a program walkthrough where I share everything you need to know to run the program yourself, including exercises, sets, and reps. Next, we'll talk about the weekly setup or how I prefer to spread the days out throughout the week. And finally, we'll talk about the pros and cons of this five-day women's program. All right, let's do our program walkthrough. This is Dr. Swole's five-day upper lower women's program. It's a moderate volume program well set for an intermediate and beyond. We've got lower body day one, upper body day one, lower body day two, lower body day three, and upper body day two. Here are the exercises and there are the sets and reps. Down here we have the total number of sets for each workout so you have an idea of workout length. And down here we have our total number of sets for each muscle group across the week. You'll immediately see that this program heavily specializes the glutes. Starting off with lower body day one, we have squat for the quads, three sets of five to eight. Next, we have Romanian deadlifts for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of six to 10. Barbell hip thrusts for the glutes, three sets of eight to 12. And leg curls for the hamstrings, three sets of 10 to 15. After that, we have cable glute abductions, three sets of 10 to 15. Abduction movements where you kick out your leg to the side will train your gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. These movements help to create that shelf look or hourglass shape on the side. After that we have standing calf raises for the calves. You can do this single legged carrying a dumbbell for added resistance. Finally we have hanging leg raises for the abs, three sets of 6 to 10. A few notes here about glute training. There are four main movement types you want to include in your glute training and those are all reflected in this program. So you've got squat type movements, hip hinges which includes deadlift variations, you've got a thrust type movement, and you've got abduction movements. You'll see how these movements play into my programming as we go through. Next, let's go on to upper body day one. We start off with dumbbell bench press for the chest, three sets of five to eight. After that, we have cable rows for the back, three sets of eight to 12. Following that, machine flies also for the chest, three sets of 10 to 15. And then lat pull downs for the back, three sets of 10 to 15. And you'll see that I have one horizontal and one vertical pulling movement for the back. Horizontal pulling movements target more so of your traps, rhomboids, and erector spine. These contribute more to back width. Vertical pulling movements like chin ups and pull downs target more your lats directly, which contribute to back width. Next, we have easy bar skull crushers for the triceps, three sets of 8 to 12. Following that, dumbbell incline curls for the biceps, three sets of 8 to 12. And we finish things off with some dumbbell lateral raises for the side delts, five sets of 8 to 12. Note here that you can superset your easy bar skull crushers and your dumbbell incline curls. Antagonist supersets work really well because while your biceps are working, your triceps are forced to rest. Thus, you're not sacrificing any productivity while saving time. Next, let's move on to lower body day two. We start off with the barbell hip thrust for the glutes, three sets of six to 10. Barbell hip thrusts are my favorite movement for the glutes. And you'll You'll see that I actually programmed this movement three times in this program. Really focus on progressive overload, especially on this day two, where the hip thrust is programmed first and in a low rep range. I see a lot of girls in the gym making the mistake of not progressively overloading, that is not making their training harder and heavier over time. All the movements in this program were carefully chosen so that you could really add weight over time, increase the resistance, and get stronger and bigger. Next, we have walking lunges, three sets of six to 10. These hit the quads and glutes and hamstrings. Lunge type movements would fall under the squat movement variation category out of our four glute training variations. A lunge type movement is really nice because it gives you a loaded stretch in your glutes at the bottom position. Next, we have barbell back extensions for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of eight to 12. You can do these on a 45 degree hyperextension machine. If you're not strong enough to do these with a barbell, you can start off with body weight and start by carrying small plates. Then we have leg extensions for the quads, three sets of 10 to 15. After that, we have the hip abduction machine, three sets of 10 to 15, and then cable glute kickbacks for the glutes, three sets of 12 to 20. Finally, we wrap things up with cable crunches for the abs, three sets of 10 to 15. You'll see that I like to start my workout with the heaviest barbell compound movement first, and then move on to easier exercises later on in lower rep ranges with lower weights. This is so you can really prioritize your big heavy movements and get the most out of them. You'll also see that I've chosen ab exercises that allow you to add weight and you can progressively overload them over time. After that, we have lower body day three, and we start off with sumo deadlift for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of five to eight. Deadlifts are a great 
great hip hinge movement that really allow you to overload, that is, move a lot of weight. I prefer sumo deadlifts here over conventional because they are more hip dominant and will thus place more emphasis on your glutes. Next, we have squats for the quads, three sets of 8 to 12, and barbell hip thrusts a third time for your glutes, three sets of 10 to 15. Again, notice that I've switched up the rep ranges each time you do the same movement. This gives you some variation and may help a bit with strength development. Then we have Bulgarian split squats for the quads and glutes and hamstrings, three sets of 10 to 15. After that, cable glute abduction, three sets of 12 to 20. Again, trading that gluteus medius and minimus. Machine calf raises for the calves, three sets of 10 to 15. And finally, weighted crunches for the abs, three sets of 8 to 12. Note that in each of my three lower body days, I start off the day targeting one of my main glute movements. But out of those four, your squat variations, your thrust variations, and your heavy hip hinges are going to be the main staples. This is because they give you the most potential for overload. So you'll see that I've built each of these workouts around these main movements. You'll also notice that in every single one of my workouts, I have one exercise from each of the categories in the workout. You've got your hip hinge, squat, thrust, and abduction movement. This really allows you to get balanced training throughout the week and will help to distribute your training stress. A couple more advanced notes. You'll see that I've split up my deadlift and Romanian deadlift as much as possible across the week. This is because your heavy hip hinges are going to be your most fatiguing movements. Also, you'll notice that lunge type movements produce a lot of soreness in your glutes and this is just because of the stretch you put on them. So again, I split them up. Finally, we have upper body day two. We have incline dumbbell bench press for the chest, three sets of eight to 12. After that, we have single arm dumbbell rows for the back, three sets of six to 10. Following that, we have dumbbell overhead press, three sets of eight to 12. Then you've got reverse pull downs, also for the back, three sets of eight to 12. Then we have some cable press downs for the triceps, which you can superset with cable curls for the biceps three sets of 10 to 15. Finally, we have some cable lateral raises for the side delts, five sets of 12 to 20. Note that you can also superset your incline dumbbell bench press with your single arm dumbbell rows. Okay, now that you've seen the program, let's talk about the weekly setup. So here's my preferred layout. We start off with lower body day one, then upper body day one, lower body day two, rest, lower three, upper two, and rest. When programming to specialize the lower body, there are certain specific programming considerations that come into play. First off, upper lower works really nicely in a five day split here because it allows you to have three lower body days and just two upper body days. You can really prioritize your leg training volume. And that's something that's somewhat unique to the five day setup. Next, when you have three lower body days, I recommend that you spread out the lower body days as much as possible. This is for fatigue distribution. So you wanna be as rested for each lower body workout as possible. You wanna spread out your rest days as much as possible. and that's just to make the most out of them. And when you see this segment, you'll see something unique happening here. Typically, when I have an upper body and lower body day back to back, I'll tell you to put the upper body day first. However, in this case, we are particularly trying to specialize in our glutes and lower body. So lower body comes first. And this is really to take advantage of that rest day to hit your lower body hard. Note that your upper body day two may take a hit from being fatigued after your lower body day three. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this five day upper lower program. First of all, with this setup, you have a high glute and lower body emphasis with double emphasis on the glutes. This comes from the fact that we have three lower body days and just two upper body days. Normally when you have an upper lower split, even if you had symmetric days, like a four day split or a six day split, where you have an even number of upper and lower body days, you're already favoring the lower body. This is because there are just more muscles in your upper body to train. So when we have an asymmetric number of days, like five days per week, and we have three lower body days, we're exaggerating that difference even more, which is great for the peach game. Next, you have a high frequency for lower body training. Since we have three lower body days, we naturally get a built-in three times per week frequency for our glute training. The glutes are a large muscle group that can take a lot of work. And you'll see here that there's a lot of volume for the glutes. When you have more volume, you ideally want to spread out that volume over more days. This is because if you tried to put all of your glute training into one day, for example, you'd be so tired by the end of that workout that you wouldn't be performing very well. You wouldn't be lifting as much weight for as many reps. Volume is one of the prime drivers of hypertrophy, and you can look at volume as sets times reps times weight lifted. If you're dropping off on the number of reps or the amount of weight that you're moving, you're sacrificing volume and probably hypertrophy stimulus. I typically recommend that you don't do more than about eight to 10 sets for a muscle group per workout. As you saw here, there are about 30 sets per week of glute training, so you'd want to spread that out over at least about three days. Next, this program has great fatigue distribution. 
Upper Lower naturally does a great job of spreading out your training stress. And this program does even better in that respect since you have more lower body days than upper body days. Lower body training is intrinsically more fatiguing. So you're evening out your training load across the week by splitting it up over more days. Finally, the upper lower split is nice because there's no interference between days. So you don't need to worry too much about going to a lower body day with a sore upper body, for example. Okay, now let's talk about cons of this upper lower glute specialization split. First of all, you have a low volume for the upper body. Again, we have three lower body days and just two upper body days. So you can see here that the upper body is given significantly less focus in this program. If upper body is a focus for you, you can always add in some more volume. Next, in this program, your shoulders and arms are trained after pushing and pulling movements, and this is a problem built into the upper lower split. The issue with this is when you train your chest and your back with compound pushing and pulling movements, you use your arms and your shoulders secondarily. So by the time you get to your direct arm and shoulder training at the end of your upper body day workouts, those muscle groups may already be fatigued. Thus, your performance might not be as good for those muscle groups. However, this actually isn't that big of a problem in this program. And this is because your upper body training is just so low volume. Since you're not doing that many sets of your chest and back training in total anyways, it won't be so big of a deal. Also, since women tend to recover more quickly than men, you're less likely to be impacted by the split setup. Now, I will be sharing this full program as an Excel file in my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined the group already, find the link in the description below. Join the group and you can download the program for free. If you want to see another glute specialization program, check out this video where I share a three day full body split that's designed for women, also with a strong emphasis on glute hypertrophy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.